Good day to everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Matinix and more. Today, I'm going to discuss one work problem again so that you may understand more how to solve work problems involving rational algebraic expression. Today, our problem is two workers, a trainer, and a trainee working together can do a job in three hours. The trainer is three times faster than the trainee to complete the same job. How long will it take the trainee to finish the same job? Now, this is comparison of two workers, a trainer and a trainee. And the good condition given in this problem is the trainer is three times faster than the trainee. And how long will it take the trainee to finish the job? If they are working together, they can do a job in three hours. Now, if you are excited to know the solution, let's go! But please don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. And hit the bell button for all so that you will be notified for all incoming videos. Work problems. Example number two. Two workers, a trainee, or a trainer and a trainee working together can do a job in three hours. The trainer is three times faster than the trainee to complete the same job. How long will it take the trainee to finish the same job? Now, again, in solving worded problems, first thing to do is Take the given data. And the given data here is trainer is three times faster than a trainee. Trainer plus trainee is equal to three hours. They can do the job at the same time. No, they are doing, they can do the job for three hours if they are working together. Now, the required is how many hours if the trainee will do the job alone. So it is unknown. And for solution, let X be the capacity of trainee. And according to the conditions in the problem, 1 over X 1 over x is the job that the trainee can do in one hour. And 3 multiplied by 1 over x is the capacity or the, uh, the job that the trader can do in one hour. Now, this is equal to 3, 3 hours. 1 over x plus 3 over x is equal to 3. And find the least common denominator. 1 over x plus 3 over x is equal to 3. The least common denominator is x. Because the denominator of 3 is equal to 1. And the denominator x multiplied by 1 is equal to x. Therefore, x multiplied by 1 over x plus 3 over x is equal to 3 multiplied by x. Simplifying the equation, 
we need to distribute x to the terms inside the parentheses. So x multiplied by 1 over x plus x multiplied by 3 over x is equal to 3x. Now, in this equation, <clears throat> we can cancel x and x, and then x and x. Cancel them out, and the remaining terms are 1 plus 3 is equal to 3x and 4 is equal to 3x. Rearranging the equation, we have x is equal to 4 over 3. We just divide both sides of the equation by 3. 3x divided by 3 is equal to x, and 4 divided by 3 is equal to 4 over 3. So, our final answer is 4 over 3, and we need to check if our answer is correct. Now, to check the answer, to check if the answer is correct, let us go to the original equation, which is 1 over x, and the value of x is 4 over 3, so this is now 1 over 4 over 3 plus 3 over 4 over 3 is equal to 3. Simplifying the equations, we have 3 over 4 plus 3 multiplied by 3 over 4 is equal to 3. And 3 over 3 is equal to 9, so therefore, 3 over 4 plus 9 over 4 is equal to 3. Adding 3 over 4 plus 9 over 4, it is 12 over 4, and it is equal to 3, and 12 over 4 is equal to 3, and 3 is equal to 3. Therefore, our answer is correct. Thank you very much. In this video, I would like to share with you verse from the Bible, James 1, verse 6. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt. Because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. Thank you very much and good day.